To use the tri-fold wallet liner, I must first cut a piece for the outside, and I've cut this piece according to the pattern that's provided from uh, three to four ounce vegetable tanned cowhide. I have made a back for the triple fold billfold based on the size that's indicated uh, with the pattern that comes with the, uh, the liner. And uh, you'll notice that I do not have a definite border. This is a good idea because we may have to make some changes to the actual size because we may have had some stretch uh, in the back leather when we did the tooling. I'm now going to use the insides and I'm going to very carefully now line it up on one end here as you can see and then I'm going to roll it over making sure that it does not slide and then I will continue to roll it uh, on the other end making sure that everything comes out right. Now you'll notice that here it is a little bit longer. So uh, this is caused by the tooling. And uh, I will also notice that it is almost perfect on the width, maybe a little bit wider. So I'm going to trim off about a sixteenth of an inch here and about a quarter of an inch off the using a straight edge I'm going to very carefully cut about one sixteenth of an inch off of the edge and then I will take about one quarter of an inch off of the length And now I will double check, and yes, my wet, my width is now perfect, and I will once again roll my leather. It's important to roll it so that we take up for the folds, and then on the other one, and now we're just about perfect so we can cement this in place. To cement this in place, I'm going to use the EcoFlow water-based contact cement and I will cover the flesh side of the outside piece completely. And next, I will completely cover the back side as well, making sure I get up to the edges. I have allowed my cement to dry until it's tacky, and now I will continue by cementing it to the outside piece the first thing I need to do is make sure that I have the inside oriented properly so that the opening in here is the top side of my outside piece. So now I will very carefully start on one end as you can see and I will stick it into place. And then as we did before, we will roll this into position, as you can see. And we'll stick it down and then we will roll this up so that this end is completely flush as well. And now we can stick all of the 
insides in place. And now we can continue. Next I will take the corner punch and I will carefully round all four of the corners. I have decided to saddle stitch the parts together so I will carefully with a wing divider put a guideline all the way around the edge, one eighth of an inch wide. And now with a thonging chisel I will punch all the way around the outside right on this line. And now using the two needle saddle stitch method, I will stitch all the way around the outside. And as you can see, we have now finished stitching all around our triple fold bill fold. And it's all finished except uh, maybe with the edges, since they are kind of raw, we could cover them with the leather edge paint. And I'm going to do that, as you can see.